In Acquisitions Incorporated, there are plenty of villains and ways to get around. I sat down with Jerry Holkins to talk about the villains and vehicles of Acquisitions Incorporated. We have tossed a handful of uh, factions into the book proper that can help you in a couple ways. As a DM, these can be great foils for characters, and then for parties, they can be uh, allies or enemies. Uh, that they can rely on or contend with. Uh, one of them is the Silver Sliver. Uh, we haven't gone into it too much in the campaign proper, but we've established some uh, sort of canonical uh, abilities that they have in a kind of template that you can apply to uh, NPCs in your campaign that can sort of grant them some of those auspices. Uh, that's The Silver Sliver is functionally speaking a uh, an ancient... Uh, revolutionary order of heroes, chaotic good um, embodied, uh, that exist as a series of masks that, when worn, create a sort of partnership between the character and the mask. Uh, and typically, they establish some kind of a contract between each other how long they can rely on their shared services. Um, but they're very much like ends justify the means, but toward good ends. Uh, the noble knife is a similar organization, but but a much deeper mystery. Uh, and they, uh, they detect the exact point where a ruler becomes a tyrant. That's sort of their, uh, that's their system, their praxis. Uh, and when that's determined, they have a, a specific means of dealing with that person. Uh, but they act in very, very small groups, almost like cells. Uh, and they have a specific technology that allows them to succeed in that aim. Uh, we also have the six. So the six are a relatively recent group whose entire purpose is the destruction of Acquisitions Incorporated. So they can be very effective, um, very effective foes right. uh, for them. Uh, but depending on where you exist in the organization, the six is as likely to hire you um, as attack you because they don't they don't have any beef with the lower tiers of acquisitions incorporated their beef is specifically with omen drawn and jim dark magic so the six is made up of uh the resurrected uh resurrected uh creatures and beings who have been wronged by acquisitions incorporated in one way or another. Uh, and most of the characters and creatures in there are characters that have died in the campaign proper uh, under ignominious circumstances. But there's also Drawn Enterprises, which is more of a direct mercenary competitor to acquisitions incorporated. Generally speaking, willing to do things acquisitions incorporated isn't willing to do. And uh, it is operated by uh, Omen Drawn's sister, Portentia Drawn. Uh, Chris Perkins established the uh, that Acquisitions Incorporated operates with some airships uh, in there. He leverages airships often in his games. And uh, I think that if we did not include <laughs> if we did not include uh, airships in the book uh, people would be People would just be displeased. In some ways, it wouldn't be an Acquisitions Incorporated book. But there's also a lot of really, frankly, luxurious paintings. Uh, you'll be able to, you'll have a chance to see these, uh, see these craft uh, executed by uh, brilliant artists uh, inside the book. A big thank you to Jerry Holkins for sitting down for an interview. You can purchase Acquisitions Incorporated, the new book for D&D, on D&D Beyond's Marketplace. I'm Todd Kenrick. Thank you so much for watching.